But tell us why you think the DOJ has a responsibility to be more transparent. Well, many of us said all along that you can't really gather real facts of what's going on here with the log of, of the products that we're taking or the objects that we're taking from Mar-a-Lago or the warrant. The telltale is in the affidavit. Now, you notice the attorney general was all adamant about to President Trump and to the public, oh, why don't you let's release the warrant? Ask for the warrant to be released. He has it. He can release it. Well, he knew there was nothing there, but you notice that this attorney general, Garland, is now trying to prevent the affidavit from being revealed and made publicly and to use the excuse, well, we want to protect witnesses. No, they don't want to protect witnesses. What they want to do is have witnesses to themselves so they can bully them, intimidate them, get them to say things where if it were made public and we know who these witnesses are, actually they would get justice because you and others will hold the attorney general's office responsible in terms of what they're doing to witnesses. And to say this about national security or this or that, well, if it's about national security, why didn't they take an action early on? Look, this is an opportunity, again, once an investigation's open, they can cast that net as wide as they can. And I guarantee you, you're going to probably see some indictments uh, that probably has nothing to do with January 6th, nothing to do uh, with uh, uh, the raid at Mar-a-Lago, but just the fact if there's someone out there that they can go after and make an example of, to further attack uh, Trump supporters, they will do it. Right. It gives them a chance to dominate the headlines instead of talking about inflation yeah. or Jill Biden having COVID. They're just, we're talking about this. And you know, normally in a situation when you have a raid like this, an arrest would be eminent, an indictment might be eminent. And at that point, uh, this information becomes public. But uh, you know, now the question is, will they indict or are they just going to drag this out? and keep this information from the public. So we'll wait on that. I also want to get to your reaction to something that President Trump uh, told to Fox News Digital this week. He said, uh, whatever I can do to help the country during a dangerous time, he will do. He said, the temperature has got to be brought down. This country is in a very dangerous position. There is a tremendous anger like I've never seen before over all the scams and this new one, years of scams and witch hunts and now this. So President Trump here saying the temperature has got to be turned down. What do you mean? What do you think he means by that? Well, let me quickly step back for a second. Again, Attorney Garland does not want, AG does not want that affidavit out because that affidavit will hold him accountable. For them to say that this FBI and Justice Department has not been uh, been fair, look at what happened with falsifying documents to get a FISA warrant. So mm. people don't trust the FBI. They don't trust the Justice Department. That's the one reason why the AG should put it out there. Now, what President Trump has said is true. We want to make sure, because we all support law enforcement, that we're not like the Democrats and the liberals. We're not out there attacking people. We're not out there physically bringing harm or threat. No, we shouldn't be. He's not saying that. Now, the Democrats have said, oh, go out, protest, scare the justices, Justice Kavanaugh, Justice Thomas. A gentleman was, uh, I won't call him a gentleman, he was arrested for having a gun and, and admitted that he wanted to, to assault uh, Justice Kavanaugh. But where was the media saying then, calm down, stop right. this, we don't need this. So I'm glad President Trump has shown the leadership and said, look, let, let's hold the FBI, the Justice Department, the Attorney General accountable. Let's do it though in a way that's peaceful. We're not causing anybody to want to take any violent actions, but we hold our government accountable. And under the constitution, we can do that. Right, at the ballot box, that's where things are gonna change. Vernon Jones, great to see you. Thank you so much.